It was less than two months ago that City TV reporter Shauna Hunt went viral after confronting Toronto FC fans for their obscene remarks. And now Vice Magazine has learned of an internal memo that the CBC distributed to their reporters telling them to stand down when confronted by men shouting obscenities. Now we know these guys are boneheads, but hypothetically speaking, what would happen if the roles were reversed? Why ask questions when we can find out? Are you a cat person or a dog person? Dogs are just good buddies, so. Have you ever dated Yo, a woman? right in the <laughs> hole! Go with that. I think that I was like a reverse. That was the that was like opposite of the thing that happened at BMO Field, remember that? Cool. She wasn't working, but do you think she should be fired like the guy at Hydro One? No, no, I don't think that's yours or my place to even begin to get into that conversation. But what if this was seen on TV and, and it was embarrassing to her employer? I'm sure it would be embarrassing to her employer. It's probably between her and the employer. I don't know. I just I, that's a hot button issue, and it I was just is. and I was just wondering your opinion on you're, it. You're a journalist at heart, and I respect that. But let's let's stick to the issues. I'm a dog person, <laughs> not a cat person. What kind of dogs do you like? Um, a pug. Yo, f him right in the f hole. What? Are you recording it right now? I heard that. Did you? That was unbelievable. What's your favorite kind of dog? Pitbull. A pit bull, you're a tough guy. Yo, f him right in the call. That, that was just like that thing at BMO Field. He got fired from his job at Hydro One because he shouted something into a camera. Do you think she should be fired too? I think it should be discipline, but firing people need their jobs. Yeah. Why the why not the cats? What's what's with cats yeah, that you don't like in your house and you know they piss all over the place? You tell them to come over and to your house. Yo, they right in the hole. <laughs> okay. What? <laughs> uh, that was inappropriate. Was don't little, you think that was a little inappropriate? Yeah, that was like that BMO field thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That guy that said like effort rate right in the P yeah, yeah, was yeah. fired from Hydro One. Was he? Okay. Yeah. Do you yeah. think she should be fired for saying yeah, something like that to me? Looking. She's kind of cougar. Yeah. So you're saying just because it's a woman saying it's a guy, it's okay? <laughs> yeah, it's a guy. <laughs> well, that is ridiculous. So why do you like dogs so much? I feel dogs are more masculine, to be honest. Yeah. Yeah. Right in the hey, no, that was, that's <laughs> inappropriate. <laughs> like, it usually happens to women, but I guess this is the first time guess, I've seen a guy. I don't really take so yeah, much offense like to it, it's, it's right? Even when, though you're, it's, when it's said to, like... On national TV with like a female anchor. So you don't think she should be fired, but do you think the guy should be fired? No, he's, no, he's fine. He's cool. It's, it's just funny. And just between me and you, I mean, you totally F her in the P, right? Yeah, of course. Yeah. <laughs> of course, of course. <laughs> so what have we learned today? Whether you're a guy heckling a girl or a girl heckling a guy, some men are just pigs. And those pigs shouldn't necessarily be fired. And a side note to reporters, if you have a microphone and you're on camera, you're gonna get heckled. Trust me. It'd be embarrassing to her employer. It's probably between her and the employer. You're gorgeous. For The Rebel, I'm Matt Phillips. And I'm gorgeous.